Hi guys. It's Friday night here in Manila, uh, probably about 11 o'clock or so. So I figured I would go ahead and do Saturday's video tonight because I'm not sure I will have time tomorrow. Um, so anyways, we are going to do a comparison of Johnny Lightning funny cars versus Hot Wheel funny cars. Uh, mostly drag strip demons by Hot Wheels and funny car legends by Johnny Lightning. And I'd like to thank Mike at Nitro Speed for helping me figure out what to do this night because I was debating whether or not to show you guys the display case with everything in it. But as I had stated before, it's kind of in the works. It's not finished yet. I had to rearrange some stuff. So um, it wouldn't have been complete. So thanks to him and his suggestion, we're doing a few funny cars tonight. And also, uh, I'd like to recommend his channel to you guys. He does a lot of cool videos that are themed, like he has recently did Red Hot Muscle Cars, where all the cars are red, uh, and all muscle cars by Ford, Chevy, and Mopar. He does a nice variety, a very diverse uh, variety of muscle cars. And he does a few videos each week, so they're always fun, always a lot of cool stuff to see. So, uh, yeah, check him out. That's Nitro Speed, a uh, really great guy. Um, so thanks again, Mike, for helping me decide what to do today. Um, so, as you see, we got seven different models here we're going to take a quick look at. And uh, there are more, I just don't have time to review all of them at once, it would take an hour. Uh, so we're going to take a look at a couple of Chevys, a Ford, and then some Mopars. So the first one you see is on top. This is the 71 Mustang Funny Car by Johnny Lightning and by Hot Wheels. So the Hot Wheels I just took down. And the reason I got this little box here, because this came from a series called Pl Classic Plastic by Johnny Lightning. And I keep these boxes because they're really cool for photo ops and such. It's uh, the model car box from... I think this is from MPC. Yeah, MPC did this kit back in the 70s. And this is what the original box sort of looked like. So really cool that they give you these uh, little boxes. That's why they named the series Classic Plastic. So very cool uh, series to collect by Johnny Lightning. I got a few of those. And uh, this is the same car that they would have used in the Funny Car Legends, though. That's why I said Funny Car Legends pretty much is the one we're looking at. But there is this classic plastic, and then there is a Hot Rod Magazine Vega. But besides that, the others are Funny Car Legends. So this is Connie Coletta's uh, Bounty Hunter 71 to 73 Mustang Funny Car really cool piece nicely done with their tampos the tail lights look really good you can even see that they did some names up here on the spoiler so they did not chintz on any of the tampos on this car very nicely done body proportions are nice front grill area headlights everything's done good they even did the little horse emblem in the grill lettering on the front valence panel so johnny he gets an a for tampos and paint did a beautiful job on this car the chassis the body doesn't flip up too well on this one so i'm not going to force it because these have a tendency to break sometimes but with this one, the difference of this one compared to other Johnny Lightning funny cars, they painted the headers black to give it a little more detail. But usually the engines, the chassis are lacking detail. The back slicks are not bad, but they're not good either. I, I don't know. There's just something about them. I guess they're too narrow. Front wheels and tires are great, though, because they're supposed to be little front runners. So nice and skinny. They look great. So, this is Johnny Lightning's 71 Mustang. 
Now let's take a look at Hot Wheels. And this one we'll have to take off the card. This is actually one of the most, used to be one of the most sought after ones in the first Drag Strip Demon series, Gone to Blazes. It used to be worth quite a bit, but the price has come down over the past few years. And now, like, some of the Snake and Mongoose stuff is the most desirable, which it should be, actually. And then there's some Altered Will Base cars, a Nova and a 65 Cornet that are pretty valuable in the set. This is still worth maybe 20 or 30 bucks, but um, it used to sell upwards of like 70 and 80 bucks. Um, so I got it after the price had come down. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up, get it off the card, and take a closer look at it. I used to have every single one of these, but I sold my collection and got out of the hobby for a while. Then I started collecting again in 2017, I think. Yeah, about 2016, 2017, right after I came to the Philippines. So I've acquired all of these living here in the Philippines. So there is the Hot Wheels rendition. This is the same car that you'll see in the mystery set that uh, people uh, were complaining about because the body is now screwed down. It's riveted down. It don't even flip open anymore. So they've done away with a lot of the features of this funny car nowadays. But this was made for the main line. So this is not one of Hot Wheels' most detailed funny cars in the Drag Strip Demon series. But the paint job is gorgeous on this car. The metallic blue, these airbrush flames, and go-to blazes, lettering. It's very nice. It sparkles very nice. Side tampos are very cool. Nicely done. Rear valence is nice, but I think Johnny Lightning did much better. This don't have the parachutes because it wasn't made from a real car like the Johnny Lightning one. This was made more for like a toy purpose. Same casting as the Treasure Hunt from 2011 also. And then the front grill area... Not bad, but still toyish looking compared to the Johnny Lightning. Johnny Lightning, I think, is a little bit better. And then this one, the body comes open a little easier. But this doesn't have the prop to hold the body open like some of the more collectible ones from Drag Strip Demons. And the motor is lacking a lot of detail. So that's the Hot Wheels one. And the Johnny Lightning one. Now, the Johnny Lightning one, I was going to say it looks a little small, but I actually think the Hot Wheels one is a little big for a funny car, because the funny cars are usually scaled down a little bit. They're just a little long with the wheelbase. So the proportions of the Hot Wheels one may not be exactly right, but the Johnny Lightning one may be just slightly under scale for 164, but still very nicely done. It does look like the bounty hunter funny car uh but this looks more like a toy like the super treasure hunt but the paint job is killer on that one but the tampos are really good on this one so i'm going to give this one to johnny lightning i think theirs is more realistic looking more accurate so let's go to a camaro the second gen 70 camaro by hot wheels and by johnny lightning this is from the Funny Car Legends set. This is Bruce Larson's 70 Camaro. This one looks a little misproportioned to me. Its uh, wheelbase is a little bit off. Um, but once again, tampos and paint are beautiful. Uh, very accurate. Very good with all the little lettering decals. Co-sponsors, very nicely done. Even the USA 1 and the grill. The little, I don't know if these were turn signals or high beams. I think they're turn signals. Um, and the Camaro front end looks really good. Um, and then it's got all the accurate tampos on the passenger side. The rear tail panel is nicely done. Tail lights, parachute. The rear wing is even nice. Kind of got the split in it. Filled in back window, which some of the funny cars did have. They didn't cut it out because it wasn't necessary. So this 
is okay and this also um, lacking detail on the chassis the chassis and the Johnny Lightning are all the same so I'm really not even gonna point them out um, because they're all the same that may be why the wheelbase is messed up on this car because they kind of uh, use like a universal base I'm not sure that's true or not some of them may be a little longer or shorter than others but nicely done with the tampos once again now the Hot Wheels one is very very nice very nice tampos very nice paint this is the Mill Road Boys Steve Nichols Sevity Camaro they even got the co-sponsor decals the wheels and tires are much more accurate than the drag strip demons. This is the one that was made for the series. This is made as an adult collectible, not like the 71 Mustang. Tail panel, though, is lacking detail compared to the Johnny Lightning. Same thing with the front end. But, like, looking inside, the motor is much more detailed than... The Johnny Lightning, it's got like a fuel tank up front, so it's much more detailed than the Johnny Lightning. Uh, but as I said, Tampos, Johnny Lightning still wins with that on the front and back Tampos, but I'm going to give this comparison to Hot Wheels. Um, so that's why I'm putting them there on the checkered flag. So let's take a look at the Vega next. This is from a Hot Rod Magazine series from Johnny Lightning. Um, based on the first gen Vega, like 71 to 73, before they started getting the sloped front end. This is an okay casting. Just the roof on these, I think, is a little bit misproportioned. It just looks a little weird, like it's too chopped or something. Uh, this also, as I said, chassis are the same. This one even lacks a little more detail than the others because it's got plastic uh, composite two-piece wheels on it but once again the tampos are beautiful though on this car the front end the hood the side the co-sponsors the rear tail panel is lacking a little detail though but still painted tail lights painted parachute so not bad so Don Schumacher's Wonder Wagon. Very iconic, uh, funny car. So, let's take a look at Hot Wheels. This is Pisano and Matsubara. Um, and this is based on, like, the second gen Vega. So, this is the closest I could get in funny car comparison. So, this is based on, like, the 74 to 76, 77 Vega. But much better with the roof line and things like that uh, which they're pretty much the same car except for the front clip like it basically like a 70 to 73 Camaro comparing to a 74 to 80 Camaro uh, the differences are like that with the Vega too a uh, little more detail on the tail panel on this compared to the Johnny Lightning Tampos on this are really good. Front end looks really good too. Wheels and tires are beautiful. Chassis, motor details great. It has the body prop. So the Vega goes to Hot Wheels definitely. Now we go to the Challenger. We'll take a look at the Hot Wheels first. The Challenger is like the 71 Mustang. This was made for a mainline toy car. As you can see, like the body proportions, it just looks like big and bulky, like that Mustang. So, this has cool paint job, cool tampos, tail light areas, painted tail lights, but lacking a little detail. Side tampos and paint job are cool though. Front end. It's lacking detail. It almost looks like a brand new like SRT Challenger. It's got more of a bulky square look like the newer Challengers. This also is like a Johnny Lightning and like the 71 Mustang lacking detail on the chassis. No body prop. 
So that's the Hot Wheels. And I can tell you already, the Hot Wheels is going to lose this round because the Johnny Lightning one is really cool. They made this one, I think, for the Funny Car Legends. So they put a little more detail into it for the adult collector. This one also, like the Funny Car Mustang, is maybe slightly small, but the proportions are perfect. Um, so, like the wheelbase, everything looks accurate. The body lines for a 70-71 Challenger are spot on uh, with the lengthened front fenders to give it the funny car wheelbase. The front grill area, the headlights are much better, much more accurate for a 70-71 than what Hot Wheels is. Tampos are great. The wheels and tires are like the funny car uh, Mustang. It's nice, but as I said, the rear slicks are something wrong when you look underneath it. They just look too narrow. Uh, but from the side profile, looks perfect. Rear tail panel is beautiful. Really nicely done. Uh, more detailed than the Hot Wheels. So, this win goes to Johnny Lightning for the Challenger. So right now it's 2-2. Two, two. We got the two Chevys for Hot Wheels and one Mopar and one Ford for Johnny Lightning. So next three are all Mopars. So this one is the second gen Charger. And the reason I'm saying second gen and not 69 because the Johnny Lightning's based on a 68. Pretty much the same car though. Uh, especially when it comes to the funny cars, it probably was the same car. They just painted different headlights and grill, uh, grill and different tail lights on the car. So, beautifully done. This is Roland Leon's Hawaiian. Uh, all the co-sponsor decals, very nice. Nice tail panel. Um, not perfection though, a little lacking, but at least the tail lights are painted. very cool car the grill area this is what the real car looked like as as I said they, they come just as one big piece of glass fiberglass basically so this doesn't have the split grill uh, like a 69 should they just kind of put some kind of sponsor thing in there and actually I cannot read that I think it just says Hawaiian um, but anyways um, yeah Hawaiian so Cool car, very accurate for the real car, the wheels and tires, and like how it's got the gold anodized rear, like a lot of the old 70s funny cars did have. So very nicely done by Hot Wheels. So let's take a look at the Johnny Lightning 68. This came from the Funny Car Legends series. This is okay. The body proportions are okay, tampos are okay, it just sets too high. The stance is way too high on this car. Grill area is perfect though, it does have the 68 grill, very accurate, and that's not even a tampo, that's molded in. You can fill the ridges for the grill, so nicely done. Nice paint job, all the lettering, thank yous, and co-sponsors, nice tail panel too. The round tail lights that a 68 had. So this is a really nice casting. I just wish it set lower. If it set lower, it may have been a tie for Johnny Lightning and Hot Wheels. But because of the ride height, I'm going to have to give it to Hot Wheels. And by the way, that Hot Wheels casting, the 69 casting, is very popular. They've used it for... The 2011 Melon, they used it for the Zamac Melon from a couple of years back. They used that casting quite a bit. It's very popular. They even did an RLC Pink Party car, which is very sought after for that car. So now we're going to do the 71 Charger. This is actually a Hot Wheels 100% car. That's the only way to get a 71. They didn't put it in the drag strip demons, which I wish they would have because they already have a really cool casting for it. 
And this one, I'll point out why I'm always telling you guys to take the rubber bands off those cars in the display cases. Because these rubber bands will eat the paint. As you can see, it started on this guy here. The Chi-Town Hustler, very cool car. And as you can see, some of the paint rubbed off here, thinned it out, and ate almost down to the metal there. Same thing on this. It didn't just kind of thin the tampos. I didn't rub it too hard because I don't want to take the paint off. But um, so that's why I always tell you guys to get those rubber bands off your cars. So this is very nicely done casting. More detail on the chassis, of course, because it's a 100% car. Um, even the engine, there's more detail, more detail in the driver's compartment, everything. So it's a multi-piece engine, different pieces for the seats and such. So very nicely done. Even you can see the fire extinguisher, I believe that is, inside. So yeah, they did a nice job on this car. But as I said, it's a 100% car, so it should be. Paint job is great on this car. I just wish the rubber bands wouldn't have affected mine. But hey, still yet, not bad. And actually, this is based... The tail lights look like a 73 or 74, but the uh, rear quarter glass is 71, 72. So, kind of hard to say, but the side proportions, it's definitely 71, 72. So, tail lights tell a different story, but the body itself, definitely 71, 72. Um, so, very nice car. Um, so, I'm going to probably just tell you guys already, Hot Wheels wins it on this one, because actually, the Johnny Lightning one... I don't know what happened with this casting, but it almost looks like a combination of like a 71 Charger and a 71 Satellite. I don't know the quarter panels and things. It just looks like it droops down too much. Like almost like a satellite look, like a 71 Roadrunner GTX, but the radius wheel openings and then the way the quarter glass is shaped, definitely 71, 72 Charger. But it's just something's wrong back here in this casting. Paint job's nice. It has that retro like 70s look. Very cool white bear dodge. Tell panels lacking a little detail. So this, I don't know what series it was made for. This came from the Funny Car Legends series, but it looks kind of toyish like the Mustang and Challenger from Hot Wheels. So that's why Hot Wheels wins for the third gen charger along with the second gen charger. So, last but not least, the CUDA. Based on the 70 to 74. Um, the reason I say this, because these are both Stardust from Don Schumacher. This is Stardust 2. I believe, because it's 73, 72 to 74. This is the Hot Wheels one. Very nice casting. Nice grill tampos. Nice side tampos. The U.S. Army, what he's kind of known for. Nice rear tail panel. It even has the little CUDA emblem back there. Very nice. And detailed chassis as always with these ones. Now let's take a look at the Johnny Lightning, which is also really nice. And actually it would probably be a toss-up or a tie, but once again, because of the lack of detail on Johnny Lightning's chassis, that's why I'm going to give the CUDA to Hot Wheels also. But we'll take a look at this. This is the original Stardust. Tampo's paint is gorgeous as usual. The front grille is beautiful. Other side is very nice. And then tail panel. And as you can see, it has the 70 tail lights. So Stardust 1, Stardust 2. But as I said, it's a really nice car, really nice casting. Uh, if it was a better chassis, it may be... A 
toss up a tie. Same thing with their second gen charger casting. It's just that the stance on the Johnny Lightning is just off. But the body itself is beautiful. They did a really nice job on the body of the second gen charger and on the CUDA. But that's my overview of these guys. Sorry it ran a little long, uh, but if I would have done the other ones, it would have ran into probably 40 minutes. Um, so right now we have two Johnny Lightnings and then five Hot Wheels. And we did one Ford, two Chevys, and four Mopars. So did seven of them, compared, reviewed. So this is what I came up with. This is your seven winners right here in front of you. Um, let me move some of this out of the way so you can get a better look. All these brick rods are falling in the floor. Sorry about the noise. So yeah, there are your seven winners. And as you can see in the mirror, you can see the rear ends of them. So that's sometimes the mirror works out great. Um, so, uh, this is it for Saturday's video. Uh, tune back in on Monday. We'll be unboxing some brand new release trucks from M2 and Auto World, along with a couple of old ones from Hot Wheels. So Monday's our premium unboxing, so tune back in for it. And as usual, guys, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so many many more great videos to come and uh please like comment and share so i will talk to you guys on monday stay safe stay healthy and i will see you monday thank you bye bye